Okay, I swear this is really a freshwater video, but uh, before I can start filming the freshwater tanks, I had to feed Predator Bay because it is uh, squid night, which is uh, one of their their favorite foods. So uh, I kind of felt like I needed to get them fed first, and then uh, we'll jump into all the freshwater tanks because, as you can tell by the title, we have big news on the freshwater side. Very big things happening there. So let me just, uh, whoops, get some, so we'll just get some squid in the bellies of Predator Bay and we will get right at it. All right, we'll do a very quick feeding. Just sort of, <laughs> he knows he wants it. There you go, he figured out it's, it's multiple pieces. Yeah, we will just uh, do a little bit of broadcast feeding here for these guys. And we'll go ahead and pour in. So you can see the sharks are going crazy smelling that food, but uh, they picked it all up. And of course, there's plenty of food, but they need to fight over a single piece. That's uh, so typical for these guys, but it's funny. Uh, surprisingly, they they get along really well. I mean, uh, even though they're competing for a piece of food, it is it's gentle in the way that they uh, they compete over it. Uh, they don't go too crazy. Okay, that's enough playing with these uh, these clowns over in Predator Bay. Uh, they've had their squid. Uh, well, they're still having their squid, but uh, this video is not about Predator Bay. This video is about. Aquarium Maine's freshwater side of the house, which is getting ready to get a lot bigger. Okay, I promise it's really a freshwater video and we're gonna get right into it. So the 3,000 gallon behind me is not gonna be the only big thing in the freshwater side of Aquarium Maine very soon because we have big freshwater projects coming all this fall and winter. We have a whole new room we're adding to the fish basement and it's all freshwater and it's all big custom aquariums but before we get into that let's go real quick and just do once around with the existing freshwater tanks and then we'll go show you the new room and get into what we're gonna do there okay finally some freshwater tanks uh, we're here at the 125 gallon or 180 gallon if you count the water volume from the sump which uh, as you know I abused for quite a while I was using it to rehab plants for other tanks pulling plants in and out you know so I was taking it away from being a Asian stream, jungle stream tank, and just sort of making it a working tank. But it has, as you can see, it has gone back to being its own tank, not a not a working tank. It is back to being an Asian stream aquarium where the, the plants are put in here and they stay in here and they're allowed to grow and create the nice uh, habitat for all these, you know, generalized Southeast Asian species of fish. Uh, really, other than leaving it alone and letting the plants grow, the other major thing I've done with this tank is just sort of move the wood around a little bit, sort of create uh, more space back behind there, uh, really all the way back, just separated the wood sort of more vertical and with gaps in between. So just to create more space as these guys are getting bigger. And as I've switched to these other plants, they, you know, they're very thin leaves, sort of vine-like. So um, they're just kind of growing everywhere in some of these grasses, so just you know, giving a, a different, little bit different look to the tank and a little more space for the fish. Let's take a quick dive inside the tank and I'll show you what I'm talking about.
But uh, yeah, this is back to being my easy tank. Um, it just cranks along. Everybody is doing great. Plants, fish, you name it. Uh, the sump is doing good, as you can see. I haven't put a skin on the stand or anything like that yet. I'm sort of still in tank construction mode. Um, so uh, this is something I will get back to, you know, after I'm done building a bunch of tanks. But uh, it's working fine. Uh, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do is probably switch this first section from being a uh, mechanical filter and move my floating plants, my wisteria, over to this first section, uh, add light there, and then go heavy on the stem plants and snails in the middle section. And the reason I say that is because I really just end up handling the mechanical from the sponges uh, in the overflow. I don't really, not a whole lot gets down there too the sump, so I think I would rather just uh, make the sump a bigger living sump, you know, just with the the zone with the floating plants, which are, you know, which if I don't call them, they'll cover up over top of all these other uh, rooted plants or stem plants, and uh, so maybe if I separate them in different zones, that'll be better, just extend the vegetable filter and uh, keep it simple but effective. So really for this tank, uh, it is back to being Cruise control, just the tank that I look over from my desk and uh, get to enjoy when I'm uh, working or video editing. So the next stop, 220 Amazon Jungle. This is a tank that is gonna get completely over overhauled. So uh, I was on a live stream not too long back and we we're talking about this tank and I said, I really like the six foot dimension, you know, left to right, these big fish, but I don't really like the two foot front to back um, it's pretty good size, obviously, but these are big fish, you know, big geos, big angels, severums, and I'd like to get more of those fish, not just what I have, and I don't want to, it's, I, in my opinion, it feels a little crowded to me already in here, so I am going to be building a new Amazon Jungle Aquarium, something along the lines of six feet wide and six feet deep, or something similar to that. Uh, I'll show you a little later in the video where it's going to be and the space I have. So there's some options there. It could be a six by six cube. It could be, you know, uh, eight by uh, four. It could be, you know, 10 by four. It could be a lot of different shapes. So uh, we'll take a look at it. And uh, based on, you know, the layout of the room, I'll make a decision. And then either way, we're going to end up with a much cooler, much bigger Amazon jungle aquarium. And we're going to be able to get more Severums for sure and more geos for sure and we're going to be able to do a lot more with escape uh just just going to be a lot cooler system but what that is also going to do is that's going to free up this tank to be remade and i have a really i think it's going to be a really cool idea i mean in my head it is but you know when you start translating it to actually building it doesn't work out well we're going to find out because i have a really again what i think is a really cool idea for this tank uh it's it is also staying in the Amazon uh, sphere, so that's a little bit of a hint at what it might, you know, is what it's gonna be. But uh, I think it's gonna be something, it's definitely something very different from all my current aquariums. So I'm looking forward uh, to building it. And of course, I will be pulling out the this old acrylic sump I made a long, long time ago and building a sump more in line with what was done on the 125 over there. Okay, no talk of the aquarium main freshwater section would be complete without talking about the 3,000 gallon, uh, which has been through a whole bunch of changes, and as you can see, still going through a bunch of changes, lots of uh, plumbing and lights and everything, and in fact, I can show you, so these are the old lights on the right, and these are the new lights on the left, so, uh, these lights over here, there's another set of those that will be going over here, and uh, that will be the final thing to do on the 3,000 gallon. So um, rather than cover all of that in this video, I'm going to do a complete video on just the 3,000 gallon. I think it warrants uh, its own video for sure and, and uh, definitely just shouldn't be lumped in with uh, you know the, all the freshwater tanks video. So, that will be coming very, very soon, and uh, the tank is doing great. There's still a few things I'm working on, but it's, it's come a long way, and it keeps improving, so uh, there'll be lots of 3,000-gallon content coming soon. Okay, now to the final fish room of the fish basement. Uh, it's currently uh, a little bit of a mini data center for some computer stuff and a weight room. Um, I talked about in uh, other, I think, the live stream, maybe another video, 
that I uh, am building like a like a gym shed kind of thing. So all the workout equipment will be going into that gym shed, which is freeing me up for a 14 feet wide by, I don't know, seven or eight feet coming out this way before I would need to stop to keep the other side of the room open for some utilities and everything. But that's gonna leave us uh, room to build uh, the new Amazon Jungle Aquarium, which, you know, like I was talking about, maybe like a six by six cube, or we could go really long and not come out as far, uh, as well as a, I have a, uh, some glass from a tank I cut apart a long time ago, and it, it could give, I could make a four by four cube. So I'd really like to do that. So, you know, maybe over here, this freezer is, is going away or be moved. Uh, so have an open space there, you know, so this room is gonna have at a minimum two tanks, possibly three, because I have a 93 gallon rimless that's just been sitting in the shed for a long time. Uh, and I think I can maybe set that up, make another one of those really, really easy tanks, you know, uh, just a 93 with very small fish, very, um, you know, uh, very, very underpopulated, heavily planted, um, you know, FX5 running, FX6, that kind of thing. So we'll see. Okay, as you can see, there's lots of big things happening in the aquarium domain fish, uh, fish basement uh, for the freshwater side of the house. As you know, we spent a good part of the uh, late, later part of the winter, spring and fall building out a lot of the saltwater projects and with less focus on the freshwater side other than the big rehab on the 3,000 gallon, which was, oh my God, a lot of work. <laughs> You're going to see uh, in the video on that. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things I had to do to convert, you know, make all the changes and everything. Uh, it's just a monster tank to work on. Everything you do with it, it just takes longer, costs more, you know, you name it than you'd ever think just because of the, the sheer size of that beast. Uh, but at any rate, we have uh, other freshwater projects coming. So I'm thinking pretty much these, this entire uh, fall and winter, beginning part of winter, we're looking at a whole lot of new freshwater projects. We, you know, we're looking at revamping you know, the whole new Amazon Jungle Aquarium. Uh, we're looking at redoing the current Amazon Jungle Aquarium to, I already have a name for it, and it's very descriptive, so I can't tell you, it'll give away what it's gonna be. And then we have a whole new room in the basement uh, for those new freshwater aquariums. So we're talking two or three new freshwater aquariums and a revamp of an existing freshwater aquarium. So potentially four new freshwater setups that we're gonna be doing, working on, uh, you know, this fall and winter. So really exciting stuff. Um, so I have a lot of ideas in my head and uh, no matter how it shakes out, I'll definitely be building those tanks and uh, they will be, you know, certainly not standard tanks. They will be chunkier. That's uh, definitely wider, more front to back, somewhere in that four to six foot range. I don't think I would build anything less than four feet front to back, if, you know, given the space, of course, because uh, that really gives me the freedom to do the uh, ecosystem aquascapes I like and make them big enough that between plants and uh, very large filtration units, uh, sumps underneath, I can have them more or less kind of run themselves, uh, sort of along the lines of what's been happening with uh, Predator Bay and the 3000 gallon. Those giant sumps, they're performing. They're performing really well. Even the sump for the 125, which is big compared to the 125, it's performing very well. So very excited with that. And I just want to keep making them better, you know, make them, you know, I learn a little bit every time I set one up. So just keep adding what I learned to the next one and they just get better and better. So it's going to be an exciting time. Hopefully you, uh, if you're into freshwater, this is, <laughs> this is the time of year for you guys. We got a lot of projects going.